Wow. Welcome to Enfo's Team Survival MT Edition 1.87. The latest version, I think, is 1.93, but I, it suggested that I play 1.87 because the person that suggested it, who is uh, Jacob Finity, is uh, saying that this was his preferred version. It's like the least buggy and the most well balanced. Obviously, I haven't played 1.93 either, so eventually I may get around to playing 1.93 as well, so Hi. we can sort of make up our own minds about that. But we're going to be taking a look at 1.87. It's a long time since I played Enfos, a very, very long time. And honestly, I never liked the map when we used to play it back in the day. Mostly because I found it very slow. It was very slow, and I wish you could speed the gameplay up. But it does still get hard, and it doesn't mean it's... You know, it's a breeze. So I'm interested to see whether my mind has been changed through the game that I'm about to play right now. Remember, always stay after the game for a rematch. That's if we want to. That's if we're not all sick of it. And use your offensive spells. Fosruda! No, that's not the one. Press F9 for information about the map and have fun. Player 1 has access to admin commands. Oh, well, I have no idea what I'm doing, so let's just go normal. I think everyone's voting on it, but it seems to make I sense. All right, hero eyes. selector. you got a bunch of heroes. I, I like this. I'm just going straight for them. Actually, before I do, I will show you more of the heroes. But I like... Ooh. Witch Doctor's tempting as well. I like trolls. So that's probably your agility heroes up here. No, they're strength, actually. I shall be your yeah, let's go trolls. Okay, so these buildings are going to sell stuff to you. The question is, is, what do you spend your 250 gold on? Anything that I can spend my money on, I will pretty much just do it. Simply because it's better to have something than nothing. Welcome to Free For All. Oh, Meme Lord. Thank you very much. Fucking lucker, except for you. We must secure the existence of our people and a future for white children. What? Because the beauty of the white Aryan woman oh must not God. perish from the earth. Right, okay. Thanks for that. I didn't even read all that. Right. That's great. We are Cheers. Alright, I'm going to start off with the salve. I right click to go over there, but it's going to take a while. My abilities are prediction through studious observation of the heavens, hypnotosis or hypnotits seems to be what it's saying. Have learned how to weave the web of order. What the fuck does it do though? Just tell me. This is kind of like the noncy poncy freaking nature of Enfos that I remember not liking. It's very stuck up its own ass. Is a random benefit. Enhance Gigu's strength by three. Is that permanent? I bloody love it if that was permanent. That'd be well broken, but I doubt it is. I just use an abilities at the moment because I'm trying to work out what the heck is going on. I've got a cake with me, by the way. So it gives me a must be a temporary bonus. Gives a random put. What? I was saying, it's a random. What? It is a permanent bonus. Oh, this guy's broke as all hell. All right, I picked the right hero. Level that up. I might just go lazy and just train stats. I know people have a go at me for doing that, but the more stats I've got, the more chance I have to last hit. Because I'm going to attack faster. I'm going to just be quicker in general. What is this moon thing doing? Primary foundation of lunar magic. This spell creates a focus beam of moonlight that regenerates mana for those who stand beneath it. So you might want to stand under it and not far, far away from it like I am. Moonbeam can also be the target of manipulation for other spells. A practitioner of the celestial arts may learn. Okay. Very cryptic. All of the descriptions are incredibly cryptic here. Very, uh... Ridiculous. But... Yeah, that makes sense that that is a very... Did anyone remember what buffs I got? Did I get zero points or up to six stats? Why would I give that to someone else? Unless you want to help get help them be the carry. Probably makes sense to put it on an agility hero, but... We don't have an agility hero, so I guess I'll just have to go on me. It's a random permanent bonus. 
Zero and six to all stats as well. It's not just like agility or anything like that. Right, I need something else to cast spells on. Hallucination. Just do it. There we go. I've done it on him. So you do it on enemy mobs. It deals 100% of its original damage. But it also takes 100% extra damage. So basically, I've got like unlimited mana. So I did pick up a potion that would give... Increase the amount of mana I get over time and stuff like that. Consumable, but... Doesn't look like that's that necessary, does it? I'm freaking invincible here. So far, not doing too bad. Hi. Up there in the scoreboard, but Speedo's still stolen more kills from me. So I'll see if I can work on stealing from him as well. I've only got a 300 range, so it's super short range. Mine. But you can already see me attacking bloody quick. The faster we level, though... Why is this leaking so hard on this side? I don't really want him dying because he puts out some DPS. More chance for me to get last hits. So go to town, son. Or just get killed. They do hit hard, though. You do get completely surrounded. That cake has actually made me hungry for more stuff, and I did say to myself I wasn't going to eat anymore. That's what food does. It just makes you hungry for more. We're getting a little bit crushed here, whereas on the minimap I can see that they're over comfortably on their sides. Prediction, level 7, so I may as well use it as soon as I can rather than wait for the level 7 version. What the hell is this? Trader's shopper. Boom! 4. Agility by 1 and intelligence by 0. So basically that was a rather crappy go. I could have got 666, can I? Oh, unless it's up to 6 stats for all of them. So it gave 4... No, because then that's five stats. So that's not what I think it is. We are really getting wrecked here. I'm going to need to pick up some items or something from the shop just to make me more powerful. I've got quite a bit of agility, though. I attack fairly fast with this hero. So picking up intelligence heroes isn't a terrible idea. Mind Shout. Who knows what the fuck that does. I just clicked on it. Mind Shout will generate a powerful mental attack against all enemies at the location of the caster's moonbeam. So, transforming them into harmless critters. So, it's a way to crowd control, so to speak. Don't mind me. Focus the moonbeam on you, get my mana back. Oh, look at that, a little bit of hallucination. Oh, me. <laughs> now I've got hiccups. <laughs> Why not? We're getting wrecked. Someone needs to be in balance, and I don't think any of us are in balance right now. I need anything that gives me intelligence, because that's going to increase the amount of damage I put out. I'm already attacking pretty quick, so just anything that increases deeps, because I certainly don't need that much mana regeneration, because I've got that sorted. My spells are crap, so that's why I'm thinking about going along the lines of just pure DPS, because my spells suck. That's just flat damage. Oh, increases the intelligence by one for 7,000 gold. I don't think that's very good. We are 50 percent move speed bonus. That sounds good. Does that really work, or is that just an ability? I don't know. But it's not very useful at the moment. I just need something that increases my damage. There you go, I picked up a couple of swords, plus 125 damage. I'm a ranged character. Small range, but range nonetheless, so let's put out the damage. Thank you very much for the potion. I'll take it, and give nothing in return. My selfish ways. It says use ability on yourself. You take two points penalty if you target yourself. But, gotta go, you know, look after number one, you know what I mean? This may be a team game, but I'm the guy that's going to carry this team. That's the way I look at it. We've got Mind Shout, which is almost ready, so as soon as they all come up there, I'm going to turn them into harmless critters. Raw, look at this. Hang on a second. There we go. No, it didn't even work. Brilliant. What an amazing spell. Yeah, I'm going to have to increase my own stats, because that's the only way I'm going to enjoy this bloody game. I knew there's a reason I didn't like this. you got to pick a good hero. 
<laughs> We're all dead. I need to start one shot these mobs, but I'm not even close to it. Alright, we're doing this, guys. Well done, guys. Why has Speedo got so many kills? Did he get the imbalanced hero? I was going to pick that hero as well. Alright, I'm sick of Speedo. I'm going down my own lane. Telekinetic Storm. Well, that sounds pretty straightforward. Does it require anything else? I suppose I might as well just use it. I was, I was going to kind of save it for a moment. Ah oh well, looks like it's going off. Oh, it's Locust Swarm. Interesting. And now I'm netted. <laughs> Excuse me. Santa's got a cold. It's not really. I'm suddenly cold now. I was really hot before. I had to take some stuff off and now I've gone cold. Get in there, my son. Get in there. We've got to overtake speed. Look at Speedo. He's ruining it for me. Because I'm supposed to be the imbalanced here. I'm trying to boost up my own stats to be the most powerful on the team, and Speedo's already well and truly overtaken. I can tank this, don't worry. I'm going to increase my stats, increase my uh, strength in a moment. Let's go. Full on intelligence. Intelligence by four and agility by eight. I'll take that. I'd rather have it agility by four and intelligence by eight and strength by one. But you get the idea. I think I'll keep going for a hallucination because eventually I'll end up getting a good one of these. There we go. Although it doesn't really work. I don't know if I need to stack them or anything like that. There we go. That allows us to do a bit of damage. Quick, whilst they're all minus critters. Don't forget to use spells, I'm using them all the time. I actually have run out of mana. Because I can't really stand still for long enough. I've only got like 300 range. So I can't use that ability and stand miles away. So, doomed. Doomed. Alright, let's go. Let's regenerate over here, let's chill. Get your mana in. Have a good one. Use hallucination just so it buys us a bit more time. Watch out. Bears about. Ah, Jody. <laughs> okay. Almost 20k gold. What's the best thing to spend it on? Buy rings. They boost all stats. All right, Amagarino, thank you very much. Rings it is. Oh, I have to rebuild my hero manually. Oh, you got the spells here. Oh, that's how Speedo's cheating. Right, oh well, I'm building up mana for like the greedier, better kills later on. I wonder if these are one-offs. I'll have a look at those in a moment. My hero only revives in another 10 seconds. Whew. This is on normal difficulty as well. Now I'm increasing my intelligence. That will increase my uh, mana regeneration. Need to stop that filthy. Uh... Just do something. Are they actually going to do anything? Great. I just summoned a bunch of things that don't do shit. <laughs> what the fuck? I think they just provide a slight buff or something, but... 
What? It increased my strength by minus two. What BS is that? That ain't right. It's supposed to increase. It's not supposed to take away. This is broken. Right, I'm going for my overpowered locust one. Get in there. Steal all the kills. Stop Speedo from being so far ahead. Even Ember Mom's catching up. Shadowhunters let me down. What the hell? Oh, those guys are ranged. I wondered how the hell I'd die there. Well, it's only another minute until my hero comes back. Rider of Phoenix, why don't I summon? Why don't I read before I do? Look at the frickin' description. I ain't got time to read that during all the chaos. It's just better just to frickin' do something and hope that it's actually gonna be effective. By the time I read all of that, we'd be dead anyway. Let's just use one of everything over time so I can learn. Remember, this is the first time playing Enfos in about 10 years. What do you mean, GG? Rundex is out. Rundex rage quits a lot of custom games. You do realize we can rematch this, yeah? It did say, don't leave, we can rematch. He's on the other team as well. Well done, Rundex. Well done, mate. Well done. Welcome to Hero Defense Games where they're only fun if you've got an imbalanced hero and they're miserable times for everyone else that isn't getting lots of easy fun kills. Alright, let's go. Justin. I'm not even player one this time, it's up to JR. JR's in charge. Where's the Sork? I ain't seeing the Sork. Aha. She's got 450 range, which is better than what I've seen before. She's right next to Mount Fury as well. There's, he, there's Captain Info himself. Alright, let's get some mana. And let's go early. And get those free kills. Which is what speed I did last time. Ooh, okay, she looks more fun. Uh, I thought that was Blizzard for a second, but apparently not. A lowly but effective form of ethereal pathway. This ability will cost 10... What? What? Will cast Frost Sky for 10 random enemies. Targeted magic. And Frost Sky... Cast a magical shard of shard of ice at an enemy unit, dealing 35 damage and freezing the target for one second. So it's basically Stormbolt, 700 range Stormbolt, and you can use this to use it on 10 enemies. So if I just do this now, if I do, oh, I see it does it for me. But that, all oh right, yeah, she seems cool. Bit of a slow attack though. But I'm going to want to use that on cooldown, and that's kind of slow. So I need to kite them all around. Quick! Kill them all! I'm not quite one-shotting with them. This even reminds me of vanilla World of Warcraft Mage. Where you used to kite a whole bunch of crocodiles in Sul Garub. Ethereal shield, let's try that. I don't know what it does. Unit is surrounded by ethereal, it has increased armor, so it's just armor. Yeah, she does seem pretty good, I gotta say. She's going to need a lot of mana regeneration, though. Luckily for me, she's got good range. And none of the mobs are ranged mobs, so I won't get in interrupted, so to speak. <laughs> you went for the panda, did you? Because you saw he was so effective last time. 
What a good idea. It's about time. Once again, it's up to the elves. So that just increases my armor. If you Oh, she's a lot more fun to play. She can actually do things. And she's got a really short cooldown on her ability. So that's straight away more fun. I will read what that ability does in a moment. Okay, it might be an idea to go back, although I don't particularly need to. So create a shield of ether around a friendly unit. This shields, uh, this shield adds 10 armor and slows melee units. So it's basically, yeah, it is frost. This is freaking early frost mage from vanilla. I need to soften them up with my ability and then use the target to dice to stop them from stealing them all. Quick, there we go. That will do for now. Watch out for the chain lightning steel. I'm so competitive even in team games like co-op. Alright, another level on this. I should be doing more damage. 78 damage doesn't sound like much. Because it isn't much. I think I need to start using these spells off cooldown a lot more quickly. And use the rest of my mana regen. These are still melee units. Hmm. Frostbite. Let's find out what Frostbite does. Okay, Frostbite. Blast enemy units with a wave of frost. That sounds like Frost Nova. That deals 200 damage to the target and 200 Nova damage. Cold damage around units nearby or something. Slows. Let's find out. Anyway. Yep, Frost Nova. Yep, Sork seems a lot of fun to play. So this is definitely improving my uh, view on the game, without a doubt. Just remember the hotkeys a little bit better. So E for the shield. C for the scythe, scythe, frostbite is B, so C, B. Oh, these are invisible. Mm, that's a little bit tricky, that is. Might be time to run back then. Pick up some items or something. What should I pick up? Just anything that increases intelligence? Help me. Something that can reveal invisible units would be nice. Sentry ward. Well, be Probably use that in the middle. So on the invisible rounds, it might be beneficial to just group up in the middle. Kick down, Sparky. Get down, Sparky. Do you require aid? Kick down, Sparky. Help me, help you. Will it be hotshot? I might increase my boots. Allows the hero to teleport a short distance. Skeptical as to what that distance is. Boots of speed is pretty much always going to be good. This better be good. Do you require aid, human? All right, I'm going to the middle. Although, to be fair, I'm just going to run into them in a second, aren't I? Once again, it's up to the elves. I don't know how close they are. What a good idea. They've got to be close. So I'm just going to run into a whole bunch of them. Look how fast Once I'm moving. That's got to be quick enough. Alright, they're all coming in from that side. Alright, let's see what happens when I go into the middle. <laughs> Our hero has been slain. Okay. I suspected that might happen. 
I wasn't sure because I knew the wolves were coming up, so I wasn't sure when the end of the train of the invisible ones was going to finish, and then I could move into the wolves and just dodge the wolves. Oh, those sentry wards don't seem to last long at all. Did you just put that down? How long does that last? Alright, 10 seconds and then the sort comes back ready to take the most kills in the team. Haiti's managed to take over with some balanced Evoker, Wind Waker. Let's go. Invisible Ward. How long does it last? Eh, not too bad. I need mana regeneration now, baby. I've lost a lot of my mana. I feel powerless without my amazing mana. kills here. I just gotta try the last hit, the ones that he's going for. Alright, time to take some potions. It's a lot of mana. We're getting overrun again. Damn spiders. Ooh, hailstorm. Only 300 mana. Man, I need someone to pick the Witch Doctor hero, the Shadow Hunter hero that I picked last time, so that I can get lots of free mana regeneration. We're going for more sensible items here. Oh yeah. You know it's going to be good. I guess that's my ultimate or close to it. Got a pretty long cooldown to it. What the hell? Oh, I keep forgetting to use that thing. That reminds me. Well, these are really bloody strong. Ah! What? They just dispelled all of mine. Oh, I get it. Yeah, I'm dealing with people that have played this map a lot of before, so they basically used the gave them anti magic shield, and then dispelled the ones that I created. That seems legit. It seems like this would probably be better if you didn't have the spell bringer thing thing here, or if the spell bringer thing was a lot less effective, because that looks like it basically completely and utterly wrecked us. Like that's just completely and utterly turned things around to a very unfair advantage for the enemy team now.
She's very good at single target, but she's starting to get a bit stressful at this stage in the game. To use an ability that's essentially got like a 0 0.5 second cooldown. Have I thought about making a petition to please bring Walker free to battle? Oh my god! That, well, that's what happens when I read the chat. Have I thought about making a petition to bring Warcraft free to Battle.net 2.0? I'm pretty sure Blizzard are pretty much already thinking about doing something like that, or they're at least trying to make it so the Warcraft free Battle.net 1.0 is actually optimal for modern devices. That's the game. That's the game for them. So what is the said ability? It's a 475 mana. That's so unclear what these abilities do. They're so sort of pompous. It's ridiculous. Just tell me what the bloody abilities do. You don't need to, like, literally drip it with a poet's freaking... Well, I was going to say something much ruder there, but you know what, the, what I mean. Just freaking tell me what these things do. Don't give me literally, like, a 300-word essay that doesn't even clearly, di you know, demonstrate what the freaking thing is doing. That'd be great, thank you. And we're just absolutely wrecked here, by the way. I can't handle this. I'm gonna die again. Yep, this isn't fun. I guess it ramps up quickly enough, though. So that stops it from being less boring. Doesn't take for ages. I suppose the last part of the description does kind of tell you what it does, but I'd still rather just get to the point. Just get to the bloody point. Hang on a second, doesn't that... I hope that did something. It didn't look like it killed all of them. I did buy an intelligence thing and I've been trying to pick up the potions that stopped me from insta-dying. Well, she was fun at the start, but yeah, she quickly falls off and becomes too much sort of maintenance to actually make effective. Whereas probably a full-on agility hero would do the trick quite nicely. Repick is disabled after the fourth wave. We're starting afresh. He's got bloody fortified armor, this guy. Might be an idea to go him. Average attack. My sight is yours. Let's go to the guy that's got fortified armor. You can't go too far wrong with that. What is your wish? Decreases with level. Warriors, enemies who are in addition stunned. So basically. Reduces the Holy Warrior's hit points to zero, 1. What the fuck? Again, this ability. Just fucking tell me what it does. Armor bonus increases with level. Alright, give me a second. I've literally got to just...
So I, I think that makes your health go to one, but everyone else around you to one, but you get to stun. How may I serve? I am ready. Meme Lord is trying to cheat. How's he trying to cheat? Did he type in a code or something like that? Alright. We know who the dirty player is in this team. So basically, I've, I'm a taunt character. What I was thinking is picking up items that have high regeneration. Shit, that's way too risky. The fuck? I need something that's got super high regeneration. These abilities, man. I am on. Doesn't my health go back up again, though? Otherwise, I just completely gimp myself. Thank you, Rexa. Foul beast. Hi. Alright, uh, thanks, one Max. Appreciate it, fella. I'm now attacking fast instead of average. That's got a stupidly long cooldown. It's like a heroic ability. You would have to play this game a lot to work out which heroes are utter crap and which heroes are more interesting to play. The Sork may have fell off a little bit later on, but at least she was active. Too many characters in this game are like auto-attack characters. And that's kind of fine-ish near the start, but later on, they all auto-attack as well, the enemy. And they do, like, way more damage than you can tank. And I've got fortified armor, you're going to find out that's going to be true. It's got a slow aura, so what, they attack slow or they just move slow? How may I serve? So my attack rate and my movement speed is boosted by Rundex. He's like a time mage. I am ready. I'll do my best. For Lordaeron. It's kind of an overpowered ability in a sense, but you have to get everything around you. And then use it. That's why it's on such a ridiculously long cooldown. But why just not put more fun abilities in the game instead of just having something that's stupidly overpowered but can only be used once every 360 seconds? Yeah, it's too late to repick now, Night Stalker. But yeah, could have done. I wanted to give this guy a little bit of a try though. Looks like my health is going to one anyway in a second. I am on. I'm out. Oh, See you later. Peace. I am honored. Yeah, the invisible round comes soon. Where do these little bits go? They must go to here. So I could have just walked into that. Or could I? No, that's something else. Well, those are more items, but I guess they're like late game powerful items. Wish? I don't seem to be regenerating any health. So that's another aura that returns damage. So I just need to make my guys tanky as possible, obviously. I'm going to get the thing that reduces 15% chance to avoid attacks. Although if I avoid attacks, is that going to return an attack back? I doubt it. Or whatever, I picked it. It's happened. Deal with it. What is your wish? I'll do my best. Hey, you found a good spot up there. I'll do my best. Foul beast. I can buy over the wall. Oh, I see what you mean. If I just stand underneath, yeah, you're probably right. 
How may I serve? I honor. They're coming to get oh, Rundex no, no, no. right now. I honor. I still got this ability on cooldown. What I need is another AoE ability, so that I can use that and then steal all the kills. But otherwise everyone else is going to take the kills. So this is a very uh, selfless hero, this one. I don't need it. That only increases mana, doesn't it? I'm full on mana. Alright, let's use this. Let's go, Justin. Alright, I'm gonna group them all up. I just used my potion. My I must have used it just beforehand. Oh never mind. Fuck. I'll do my best. <laughs> For Lord Aran. What is your wish? I'll do my best. For Lord Aran. I'll do my best. It makes sense to have a tank, a healer, and two DPS then, or something. I would have thought for a game like this. Treat it almost as if it's a dungeon. You certainly can't play this as like a selfish guy. Unless you want to be the DPS, then you can be the selfish guy. But you do pretty much need a tank and a healer dedicated. Yeah, where do I heal? That's the thing. Kill me, bro. I'll do my best. I am on. I didn't see any of these buildings giving me healing. I am ready. What is your wish? Yeah, healing with potions is easy, mate. I don't know what that does. What's the point of leveling that up other than I guess it shortens the cooldown? It's only five thousand gold. Stand here and tank it like a man. It's kind of pointless if no one's actually doing damage whilst I'm doing this. Everyone's just run off. I'll do my best. I am on it. I'll do my best. I am on it. I am ready. Oh, you bought the little thing. How, may I How did you get up there? I thought you must have bought like a boost to teleport you up. But you were down here a second ago. I guess you got town pot ability. Are you hear hero? Guess this potion isn't is too wish? expensive in the grand scheme of things. If I get my gold's worth from killing them. As soon as this gets enough mana, that's when you go. Ah, I see. You want to wait till like the third gold level or something. I'm just kind of hoping I can control him, can I? <laughs> yeah, you can! Oh, he's got blink as well. to handle them? What is your wish? I was I can't get back very easily. I'm gonna keep cutting these all around so I can 
Try to one shot most of these. I'll do my best. My finger's almost ready. So I need to get round into the middle. There we go. Like somewhere like here. Foul beast. How may I say? That's what I'm talking about. Foul beast. Come on, let's bring them down. Foul I'm the only one here. Shit. Foul beast. Foul beast. Foul beast. Foul beast. Foul beast. Foul beast. Something about foul beasts. Foul beast. I'm gonna foul use heroic strength, simply because it seems like a no-brainer to use his ability like that. See if I can get myself out of this. It's not looking. Four Lord Aron. I am on. Four Lord Aron. I am ready. What is your wish? One of these rings is going to increase strength. Oh, it's forty thousand. Strength is way expensive. How may I see? What is your wish? I need my cooldown ready again. Foul beast. 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 Whoa! We're getting some Foul lag beast. spikes right now, but Foul beast. Foul my guy doesn't beast. seem to mind. Foul beast. Foul beast. Foul beast. Foul beast. Four load along. Foul beast. Foul beast. I am on it. I'll do my best. Foul beast. I am on it. Four loader on. Foul beast. Foul beast. Foul beast. Foul beast. Foul beast. I'll do my best. <coughs> I am ready. Foul beast. <coughs> I need an item. Can't we summon something from here to help us? I don't know what any of these things do, though, really. A lot of those seem like single target stuff. What is your wish? That increases all the damage. There's not much that actually increases your armor. I mean, that's going to be what increases your armor. Takes up a fair bit of space, this stuff, but the armor's pretty good. What is your wish? I'll do my best. Can I help you? How may I serve? Just buy anything that's got armor, pretty much. I'll Just do my doing my job. I need to group them all up. They're starting to move super I'll slow now because there's so many mobs. I, <laughs> I get a cut. Try I'll to keep all best. their attention. I am on. I'll do my best. Come on. Come on, on, fellas. I'll 
do my best. Let's do this. Let's go. I am Bruce Lee style. One man I against a hundred. I'll do my best. I am on. I'll do my best. Foul feet. Oh man, this potion's got a cooldown on it. No! The potion lied to me. The previous potions taught me to say, okay, these potions don't have a cooldown. You can use them whenever you need to. And then I got myself into shit and found out that the potion's got like a 10 second, maybe 15 second cooldown on it. So the potions, that's bad game mechanics, that is. That's poor game mechanics because that's taught me that the potions are reliable and trustworthy, and then it's betrayed me. Foul beasts. I've got them all nicely sort of hooked up around me, and I've been betrayed. Betrayed by potions. I would get strength, but it costs like 40,000 for the ring. So I wanted to get a couple of shields that definitely absorb damage, be it piercing or otherwise. Because that's always going to be effective. And then I can work towards the rings. Foul bloody beasts. There you go. Let's defend. Whoa. I'll do my best. Yeah, yeah, you can just teleport units in there. <laughs> Aha! Betrayed from behind! You didn't see this one coming, did you? No, you didn't. You foul beasts. Can we end up buying lives then, eventually? Because otherwise, how do you stop them from just constantly teleporting units in there when they get the mana to do it? I guess I'll just end up using my ability anyway, because it's been ages. Just do it. It's definitely been polished, this game, I can tell, over the years that it's existed in Warcraft 3 history, but... I still don't know if I actually like it. I think it's okay. Like, I understand it, what you're generally trying to do, but... I suppose you just have to find the right hero for yourself, otherwise you're just not going to have the best time. I mean, this guy isn't terrible, but he's very auto-attacking. Whereas I enjoy active heroes. And the last hero was very active, but then she ended up being shite. So that then became unenjoyable. So you've got all these kind of things contradicting what themselves. The juxtapositions are real. Okay. I was like living it on the edge. Most of what any of these heroes does is also attack. My flag is a mockery ability. Yeah, no, it taunts people, but it's kind of not really necessary. I mean, me and Meme Lord are tanking, and Meme Lord seems to be tanking better than I am, so. Alright, I'll use it now. 
Oh, never mind. Everything just around me died the moment I did that. Interesting. Can almost get that ring soon. You reflect that damage. Reflect it. Reflect it. Good. 60% damage reflected. It's not bad, really. Their damage is roughly, deliberately, by the looks of it, always a tenth of what their general health is. So if I get to the point where I'm reflecting 100% damage, that does like one tenth of their health if that ever procs on them. I've almost got my super duper imbalanced ability. I am honored. For Lord Arad, what is your wish? I'll do oh, my man, that slow poison is really strong. I am honored. For Lord Arad, foul beast. I'll do my best. Foul beast. Foul beast. I use my ultimate in a moment, but there's only one of us, I think, left to kill things. Well, there's not much I can do about that, is there? I was ready to take my potion immediately as soon as that happened. I just got insta it right after it happened. So I guess it's a poison effect. That just tipped my health the split second I used that ability. Well, that's a shitty ability, then. There's no counter to that. I can't counter that. If there's poison, then I guess I just can't fucking use my abilities. That already have, like, a fucking 600 second cooldown on them. Brilliant. Really well fought out there. This is genius fucking map design. Our allies hero has been slain. It should give your hero like 100% or Divine Shield for like half a second, so that can't happen. And then you take a potion. Because I didn't even have a chance to take a potion. I am ready. Oh well. I've only got to wait like another 60 seconds until that comes off cooldown. Foul. Foul. I can get that bloody ring, but I don't know if we're dead by this point, but let me just buy the ring anyway. Screw it. Where's the fucking ring? There it is. Inventory is full. Screw you. I am ready. I think we might be dead. What is your wish? Foul beast. Foul beast. Foul beast. She's got some amazing life drain ability. I think they're invisible. Keep picking on him. Gangs from behind. I'm ready. All right, I got my ultimate. You ready? I can't use it because I'm on cooldown now. For that. Let's get out of there. Let's use it again. Get ready for it to be cooled down, and then I can go crazy. Alright, let me get in there. Let's see if my ultimate sucks balls again. I can't even kill this mob. Get in there. Ready? Finally, a little bit of luck. I am ready. 
The time speed uh, boost that you have is really good. What the hell happened? We just lost... They just teleported units into the... You shouldn't be able to do that. You shouldn't be able to just teleport units into the thing. Because that just cheats the whole survival part. <laughs> yeah, I'm calling GG on this. The game's not terrible, but it certainly has its flaws. I mean, they're saying they didn't teleport units, but I'm pretty sure it just said units teleported in, and I didn't see anything behind us. So I'm going to assume that they were teleported in from the enemy team, but... I don't know, man. This game has a lot of flaws. I know. I, there's plenty of other hero defenses that I think are slightly better balanced as well as more enjoyable overall. In terms of just a grander experience and feeling more powerful. This was just one of those ones It's just like, Alright, I'm going to auto-attack for a while and then basically get like two shot by the mobs. If I've got more than four of them on me, suddenly like my health drops 25% per hit. 